Hi, welcome to Laura's View and Tara too. I am so glad you're here. Today's date is Thursday, April 11th, 2024. In this video, we're going to follow a couple of rabbit trails and see where they lead. Um, I'll explain as we go. Uh, it involves a an Instagram post that was done by the U.S. Navy that has gotten pulled, and then a non-speculation about what that might have actually been about. Was it a coded communication? If so, there was a couple of them. One very interesting of them was very interesting to me, speculation about what that might have been about. I'm going to take you to my compilation and we'll get a little background, some data, and then we'll see what the universe wants to inform and advise us about the situation. And uh, maybe we can get some clarity on what's going on. If you're interested in this compilation, you can follow the Facebook link that will be in the video description box. By the way, that is just about the only way to find me on Facebook. I'm heavily shadow banned there. So you can always follow that link that will be in the video description box. Or if you look under the tab that says about for the channel, I've got my Facebook page listed there. And the compilations are one way I can share information with you um, that might not be uh, welcomed <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> so I, I don't want to take a chance. So, or lose the channel. So let's go to the compilation and then we'll see what the universe wants us to know. Okay, so here is the picture that caused a lot of um, interest. There was some humor involved with it. And uh, let's look here. We've got the, uh, there's an Anon comment about this picture. This was originally an Instagram post that was done by the U.S. Navy. Okay, one Anon commented. Oh, let me go to all, all comments. Make sure I get them. Okay, if the Navy posted this, it's not an accident because there's a lot of anomalies with this photo we'll talk about in a second. What is mounted backwards? The scope, also known as optic or optics. Sun Tzu <laughs> said, if you're weak when you're strong, ring any bells? Absolutely not accidental. Another Anon noted all of these anomalies with this one photo. The scope is backwards. The scope cap is down on what is normally the ocular lens, so you can't see through that. Uh, the broom handle is in the most retarded position possible. Why even have it? The handguard has the ever-living you-know-what bent out of it. This wasn't my words. I copied and pasted this. I, <laughs> the hand, so he's going to take off with that chicken wing out there. In other words, the way he's holding it is uh, going to maximize the recoil and pain he'll have from shooting that in that position. Okay. He has like an inch of stock in the shoulder pocket, which is terrible again for the uh, recoil control. And given the brass spacing up here, this is the brass coming out. He's firing the semi in full automatic mode. So a lot of anomalies and things that just don't add up with this picture. And on top of all this, there's a hand on his right shoulder. Okay, so we have just basic speculation going on that this picture is more about optics, that these anomalies are deliberate because people he, there was a uh, desire for people to focus on the word optics. Now here's another speculation. With the right hand on the shoulder, Okay, when there's a nuke incident, it's called a helping hand. So, wondering if there was a nuke incident. Now, according to Starfire Tor, and I've got the link for her post over there, we actually, on the 9th, did have a major reset, that's what these black lines are, of our matrix. Okay, I'm just going to read this. As amazing as it was, <clears throat> the eclipse came and went without any major glitches or wishful fantasy sci-fi predictions manifesting. The timeline did not split in two, or so she believes. <laughs> the rapture ascension did not happen. UFO ET full disclosure did not happen. No ancient gods returned. Okay, but here's the reality. Today the core matrix enacted a curtain of timeline edits, that the white, Okay, and there were two timeline reboots. 
They are seen in the chart, these black spaces, as data loss black zones. This core matrix activity has nothing to do with the solar eclipse two days ago. It has to do with the core matrix needing to resurrect the planet after yet another human-created, Earth-destroying nuke activity. So according to Starfire Tor, there was some nuke activity that happened on our planet. Now, if you go back through the uh, posts from Starfire Tor that show activity in the Schumann Resonance, there's a lot of those black reboot lines. Now, one answer for those I've also heard is that occasionally it happens when the Schumann is so active, it's beyond the recording capability of our instrumentation. Uh, a second uh, answer for some of those black lines is that uh, there's such unusual activity, there was a decision to uh, um, not report it. But a recurring theme has been that there is a catastrophic incident that happens on our plane of existence that requires some kind of a reboot. And again, Starfire Tor says this recent one was done by nuclear activity. So even if you parse out a few that might just be from sensor data, a few that uh, might be uh, equipment that can't record the level of activity that is seen in an anomalous period, and then those that are actually from human stupidity <laughs> or tsunamis or just major events that have kind of uh, gotten our plane of existence off its path. Uh, I thought at first, I thought, that's a lot of activity, a lot of stupidity. And then I thought, what are we known for? <laughs> the stupid acts. So I think it's worth asking the cards about. the um, Is this... Is this Instagram photo indicating that... Uh, there's some optics involved <laughs> and nuclear activity going on. So uh, let's see. So was the a coded communication indicated in that picture involving nuclear activity? Let's see if it's that first, okay, plus other insights and information. If uh, we don't get a hard yes about or a yes about the, uh, is it indicating that there was a reset of our timeline? because of nuclear activity, then we're going to be looking more at the optics end of things, okay? So let's start off with a question again about the uh, nuclear um, speculation. And uh, we'll see if we can uh, uh, see if the U.S. Navy has given kind of a nod and confirmation to information put out by Starfire Tor. I'm going to switch the camera and let you watch me work with cards, and we'll see about that. By the way, when I was checking in on optics, with the uh, site where the uh, 17 teams posts are compiled, there were 34 different um, posts that use the word optics in them. None of them matched, none of them happened in April. So there wasn't a like a Delta confirmation with that. So again, I was starting to think maybe there's more to um, Starfire Tours um, information than I wanted to initially believe. Let's find out. The Instagram photo put out by the U.S. Navy. By the way, the Marines had a great time with that. <laughs> that uh, Stars and Stripes article that I've got in the compilation, they they put that up nicely. So my laughter is just about, you know, the Jarheads had fun <laughs> with the Navy's uh, picture that seems to be an accident, but was it really optics? Or was it a code of communication that there had been some... Uh, Nuclear activity, now, as far as our memories go, we would just think it'd been avoided. According to Starfire Tor, it wasn't, but we've been rebooted and reset and back on our path and enjoying this uh, corrected matrix that uh, we now seem to be on. So, was that photo giving us some information about what they thought was a nuclear event that might have been avoided, plus other insights and information. We have the Nine of Pentacles. We have the Seven of Wands, Four of Cups, 
the magician. Ooh, three of swords, the fool, and the four of pentacles. I can tell you right now, we're being told that there was a major incident and uh, a, we had to have a correction to our timeline. Absolutely, absolutely. Now let's look at the cards that are telling me this. The situation is indicated with the nine of uh, pentacles. Uh, really good, but strong, uh, feminine, divine feminine energy. A card of independence. And in other words, nothing to worry about. The situation is nothing to worry about. Um, I'm going to deal with this glare that I can see happening and see if then I'll be back in just a second. Just give me a blink here. But the cards will all be in their same spot. Okay, post blink. Here we go. Like I said, the, the situation's being indicated with a card that doesn't give us anything we have to worry about. The uh, telling us a little more. There was a conflict uh, of short duration, but it, apparently it was sufficient enough that uh, um, it was significant. Now, in the recent past, we've had a little hiatus in significant activity. Um, so, and I'm talking about things that were global that might uh, talk about uh, resets and what have you. So into that period of calm, <laughs> there was still stuff going on that uh, needed to be uh, taken care of. How was it? With manifestation of, and the magician is a major arcana. He, his energy is um, not in the development stage. It's, it's going to be permanent. It's indicating that there was a change manifested as a result of conflicts. Okay, again, but nothing for us to worry about. Near future, okay? It doesn't look like that's going to be the only incident happening. Um, again, because humans can be pretty stupid, especially the ones that have put themselves in a position of power and don't have a proper um, respect for our planet, for human life. And so we can expect more of the same at irregular intervals. The, this card, the Three of Swords, talks about some lies and even um, sometimes can indicate that there's 2.0s in play, which on our political scene, many, <laughs> if not most of our uh, leaders seem to be 2.0s, okay? Including some trusted journalism people and even in the alt community, we've got some 2.0s running around. Not to say they're not doing some good work, uh, probably even better than the 1.0s, but this is, again, in the near future, we're still going to be dealing with some of those um, false narratives, false reporting. Um, they're not going to admit to these incidents, even if the memory of them is still there. But we are moving to a place where that's not going to happen as often. The fool indicates a new path. Absolutely. Kind of a fresh start for us. And that's why I said with this card about manifesting and the fresh start indicated with the fool, even if they're not going to be quite honest about it, other than those uh, uh, that cryptic Instagram photo, which has now been removed, it is something to uh, be aware of. The uh, <clears throat> ultimate goal here is uh, talking about being careful with our resources. In other words, love and care for the earth. And while we don't want plane of existence meddled with too much. We do seem to need that help and they're trying to um, be as sparing as possible in um, correcting incidents of this plane of existence. In other words, guys, ultimately we're going to have to get become more and more responsible for things that happen and not wait for someone else to clean our diaper. So let's get a few more cards about this incident. We've got the Page of Wands, which is one of my uh, literal white hat cards. It's the only one with a white hat uh, and indicating some truth involved here. Again, we've got this card showing some determination despite there's been conflicts and uh, um, it's on top of this one with more conflicts going on, but very determined. So this is just a nod to the fact that there are good humans and benevolent um, possibly off-world helpers that are try they have a good view of where we need to go and care for those who are um, awake and aware or just utter innocence. And um, so thank you. <laughs> thank you for the, the work they do. 
the care they take and the assistance they render, even though they don't get a whole lot of notice or credit for it. And it's currently kind of designed that way. Now our last cards, we have the Queen of Swords, a card of justice and patience and the written and spoken word. And then again, while there's some um, being careful with the amount of help that's provided, indicated here with the Four of Pentacles, there is a generous nature to those that are rendering some assistance. So it looks like of those two things, was it simply optics about what's going on in our world? Or was it uh, a coded message about that there had been a nuclear um, incident averted? And uh, and maybe with that backward scope that um, if there was chatter about it, look in the opposite direction of how it's uh, where it blame is laid. So it does seem to have been something to do with that. Kind of interesting to get the the uh, tarot perspective added to the chatter and the data. A recap: the U.S. Navy briefly had a. Uh, an image that was talking about the Navy that has been removed because there were so many anomalies to the photo. Um, too many to have been co mere coincidence. Chatter in the Anon community, speculation was that since that picture involved a capped scope that was on backwards, that it was a coded communication heavily looking at optics. But a second person um, brought forth the possibility that with the hand on the shoulder in that photo, um, that it might be indicating a nuclear incident. Well, we took rabbit trails and see if they came together because Starfire Tor said that on the yesterday, there was a reboot of our timeline because of nuclear activity. Now, if we'd had a matrix reset like that, we might not have a specific memory of it. So I just asked the cards was, in other words, that we humans might think that one had been averted when really because of a reset, they took us back to before it happened <laughs> or reset it to before it happened. And then what we think was averted actually wasn't occurred and we needed a reset for. And we actually got a nod in that direction from the universe because for the current situation, we had the magician show up and he is the ultimate manifester. Okay, and uh, anytime you have a major arcana show up in a card read, it is telling you about an event or um, action or situation that's really not going to have a lot of flexibility. It's, it's pretty much, it is what it is, and you have to just accept it and move on. And then in the near future, we got a beautiful card called Fool, which talks about setting off on a new path. So again, we got several... Um, universal nods to the possibility that there had been an event that was catastrophic and we've had some um, loving intervention. And so in our eyes, that code of communication was just saying, thank your lucky stars, folks, something got averted. Maybe it didn't get averted, maybe we needed a reset. So we got a little bit woo with our rabbit trail tonight. I hope you still enjoyed it. And it gave you some talking points or items to think about and speculate. And uh, that's what it's all about, is just seeing, seeing what's reported, looking at what's not, looking at data, seeing if different elements kind of come together and make some sense. And sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. And it doesn't really matter, okay? You sat through it, you considered some topics that weren't mainstream and whether you accepted or said, no, that's a little too out there for me, that's okay. That's fine. We're all where we're at. But for what I came away from this was that it wasn't simply an item of optics. It was a code of communication um, talking more about that nuclear possibility. And um, again, in the eyes of those that were doing that, they were saying, we averted something. Starfire Torah says we didn't and we needed a reset. Have it either way you want it. In the end, We'll eventually find out these things and, and know what happened, right? So that's it for this video. I thank you for your time and attention and patience while I got a little bit woo and went down some rabbit trails. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the, the trip with me. If not, not every one of my videos goes down rabbit trails. So maybe you'll find a few that you like. And if you don't, that's fine. 
we wish you well and uh, good luck with your, uh, your searches for information or content that resonates with you and just seems to align with uh, what your discernment is telling you. There's a reason we're all different and it's all good. So until next time, if you'd like to receive it, I send you love, light, and wish for you everything bright. Bye.